Stretching Beat Down City is kind of like a side-scrolling brawler mixed with turn-based tactics and RPG elements. It's kind of like Fallout meets Double Dragon in a lot of ways, where it's like got that beat-em-up element, but it also slows it down a little bit to just give you the opportunity to think about what you're doing, to build combos, and do a lot of... It's all about making the player have this ability to do a lot of really cool stuff. I was inspired by... Uh, like, I loved Double Dragon when I was a kid. I loved a lot of brawlers, loved a lot of fighting games. Loved a lot of RPGs, and when I got to like the 16-bit era, and recently I've just kind of dived back into like playing Double Dragon, and I don't know, like I wanted those games to come back. Like I like brawlers, but I also find that they sometimes have issues. Like they you watch a speedrun videos, and people just game the crap out of the game, and are just going dominant tactics, and you realize that the games don't encourage you to play well. So I wanted to make a game that encouraged you to play well, that gave you a ton of moves. Like, like I like a lot of fighting games, but like Tekken's a game I can never get into. So our game allows you to use a menu to pick all those moves to do really cool combos and just pretty much encourages you to keep doing cool stuff. I have a programmer working with me and the game wouldn't exist without him. And I do all of the, uh, like it's a pixel art game. So I do all the pixel art, uh, I do all the animation, do, uh, all the I do the game design like the game is my like idea I guess and all the level design and a lot of the other stuff uh, programmer Manny he helps us with he helps me out with a lot of the game design process um, I have a composer working for with us in uh, he lives in Baltimore and he's actually a pretty well known guy like inverse phase he does uh, he used to help out with Magfest which is a pretty big like chip tune thing and and then I have. Uh, my wife, she helps out with a lot of the key art. She does a lot of the like the production art, like the art for marketing or all that stuff. And she's a fine arts painter. I'm an animator, and we've been working on the game full time for about a year and a half, kind of conceptually. Kind of was like a it was a free idea back in 2009, essentially. I kind of I started modeling a lot of the game after Double Dragon on NES, and wasn't about like being overly simple about it. It was more about trying to play into like a des design limitations on myself. So we have three characters. We have this big burly wrestler guy. We've got this small like uh, Jeet Kune Do capoeira dude. And then we have this lady uh, who's an MMA boxer lady. And she's she was designed by my wife also. Like, cause we really wanted to have a kind of a strong middle ground character that kind of eschewed a lot of the like stereotypes, like making like weak, like kicking people or whatever. We want to make a character that was really strong. And so, and my wife, uh, she's a fine arts painter. She, her collections mostly like has a lot of a feminist lean to it. So, I mean, it's, we pretty much created maybe the first starring Puerto Rican woman in a video game. <laughs> and then also like our characters are, we have this like the big burly guys, like a Mexican dude of Spanish heritage, kind of playing off the idea of like, what are Mexican people? What do they look like? And then uh, we've got like the Jamaican dude who's like small and skinny, but he's also kind of brilliant and a mathematician. So he's like super rich also from the hood, but like kind of like, so we tried to make these characters that were very different, even though they may sort of look like what's going on. We're working on a piece of the game that's not a part of the Kickstarter. That's going to be out on PlayStation Mobile, which means it'll run on certain PlayStation certified devices like Vita and some phones, some Sony phones. That's going to be coming out hopefully around June-ish. And then, but that's only like the first level of the game. It's And then our Kickstarter's for a bigger, it's more looking towards the future. And so we're looking to launch the full game uh, towards January, February, March of next year, probably closer to March on PC, Mac. And then, you know, I'm really excited. I really want to be able to put it on like PlayStation, uh, like four PS Vita native. Maybe Xbox, maybe PlayStation, maybe Wii U, but that's all about like you know how discussions go with those people.